Hi everyone, it's February 11, 2021, and you're watching me, Nikki, who also known as Faces Trader for the Awesome Tennis Global Market Update. It's a Thursday. Let's begin. All right. So the, the U.S. market last night was still in a very, very strong movement, especially on the cannabis sector. So um, let me show to you just how strong the cannabis movements were last night. Let me take you to the weed segment. So let's take a look at the weeds. W-E-E-D. Okay, so did you smoke some pot? Uh, Tillery, Organigram, Aurora Cannabis, your MJ ETFs, Kronos, THCX, Afria, Charlotte's Web, Hexo, uh, Green Thumb Industries, CBD, CBDMD, Canopy Growth, Iron Strategies, Grow Solutions, GMEVs, Curaleaf, YOLO, uh, you've got GW Pharma, well, that was um, already up, your Grow Generation. So you'll notice that uh, your weed-related names were very strong. That's one day. But how about their performance for the year? So for the year, let's take a look year to date. The strongest move has been Tilray and Organigram and Afria. Then, of course, you've got some penny-related names. Uh, we, we were taking a look on Grow Solutions, GRSO, and GMEVs. Let me show you those uh, charts today. So what exactly inspired all of these uh, run-up on your cannabis names and how high can they go? So let's go to our finviz.com. Just want to see, of course, uh, for a long time, we have already been recommending all of these weed-related names as part of our ability to detect that the legalization of marijuana is going to be supported, of course, by Vice President Kamala Harris, and there will be impending laws that will benefit the entire sector. So let's take a look at this. Uh, pot stocks are flying high again. It's not just Reddit. Tilray is bought by the Reddit crowd. Tilray is posting the three-day gain as the Reddit crowd is turning the spot to pot. So traders are eyeing new highs. Tilray shares are soaring. The Reddit message board is setting sight on the cannabis sector. So I want to see. All right. So for now, they're just saying that um, the cannabis stocks are surging to new highs, mostly as your GME kind of crowd is uh, hitting up on these uh, on hitting up a lot on your medical marijuana. But let's read some news. The, this was February 9, 2021. Well, Tilray actually struck a deal with uh, an export of medical marijuana to the UK. Let's read this. Medical marijuana products will now be available in UK. This Canadian company reached an agreement with the British company Grow Pharma, under which the latter will import Tilray's green medicine into the country. The company said that its goods will become available in UK by March, and as with several other European countries, marijuana consumption and use in UK is only allowed by people who have already been granted permission to do so, especially in this case, the country's National Health Service. Tilray is very well positioned to be a leading supplier of medical cannabis products, the company quoted the managing director of Tilray Europe. Regulations are progressing. More and more countries across Europe are recognizing the benefits of medical cannabis and the potential to improve the patient's quality of life. International expansion is very important to Tilray. The company already has a 2.7 million square foot facility located in Portugal in which it grows and cultivates the product. It, has re it was recently granted authorization to sell medical marijuana in the country. They've also signed a deal similar to the UK. Uh, arrangement under which it's shipping cannabis to the neighboring Spain. So far, Tilray's growing European presence is complementing that of Afria, the company with which it is set to, um, to merge with. Afria is operating a medical marijuana distribution company in Germany called CC Pharma, which was lately helping power its overall growth. So it's a generally growing uh, marijuana stock movement. Let's take a look at all of these. Cannabis stocks are lighting up. Reddit is also letting the sector surge to new highs. Interest from retail investors lifted cannabis stocks broadly. Um, the shares of Tilray, shares of Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis, the ETF more than doubled in value since the November presidential election. So notice that, of course, that was around Aurora Cannabis time. Uh, we were talking about November with Kamala Harris. Yep. So... 
we've been early on these names. So we're just really more of holding on to it. So some people are saying that I don't think that the retail punter story goes away overnight. And I'm really watching only the price action, trying to make sense of it all. Changes by doc the Democrats would help the, the U.S. cannabis companies access more traditional methods of banking and open the sector to new institutional investors. Some analysts, however, believe that Tilray, Afria, and Canopy Growth may not really benefit from these U.S. changes. Company like Canopy Growth reported a reduction in adjusted losses, but Stifle analysts said it still will fall short to justify their current valuation. Canaccord Genuity said U.S.-related enthusiasm has caused this disproportionate amount of money flow into the Canadian producers. Shares of Tilray, which is being taken over by Afria in a complicated reverse merger, is up more than 400% since the deal was announced in December, following the agreement to supply medical cannabis to European markets. Afria gained 240%, company across the sector surge in a wave of legalization, across the Democrats' promise to decriminalize the plant at a federal rev level. All right. You've got the regulations in your favor, but um, is the chart still with you? Or is the chart already too extended? Let's take a look at all these names. Okay, uh, let's take a look at all the cannabis names again. Okay. Charts, please. All right. So in my view, um, it could be very early, but here's what I think. So we were early here on your Tilray. Tilray, we've been entering since October, broke out here $5.50, another breakout here about $8. That was the uh, the start of the greed zone. 5 to 11 was the first quick pump. And then, of course, that re-entry point hit about 7 to 8. Then this one, so this is the greed. This is your euphoria from about 8 all the way to about 15. And then, of course, um, so far, you're seeing Tilray actually more in the resistance zones here at about $50, $70. So let's take a look at this. You're seeing that the market has already um, expressed a bullishness in the realm of 10x move. Yes, it's already trading at 63, and you've got these resistances on Tilray before here at about $80. So you've got a very strong resistance at $80. However, uh, of course, anything can happen. 80 can go to 140 as well. Let's just take a look at some le resistance levels for your Tilray. 80, 120, 140, 100. So far, you're just going to hold on to your winners for as long as it takes, right? Um, you've done your due, due diligence. You've bought somewhere here about 5 to 8. So you're just uh, already hitting all the all across the 10x moves. Fix that uh, you, you finished the 10x move, 5 to 60. Your 5,000 is essentially $63,000 today. Even if you're selling, 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 let's say you're selling at about 15, 40, 60, all the way to about 70 or 80 or 100, I guess that you're just really holding on to your winners, let your winners win. But is it extended for you to buy more? It is extended. I'd say that um, the buying pressure was here, 5 to 8. Anyone buying up extended is already late. Okay, so that's still real. Let's take a look at your Afria, extended already. We made a buy call just the same uh, around October, November. Of course, you've got Biden, um, the anticipation of Biden and Kamala Harris winning. And we bought somewhere here, October, November. That's when we gave a buy call on all these legalization of weed. And uh, as you could see, Afria has done more amazing. Your $4 here is now trading at about $27. It reached, well, it's not that amazing. It's about 4 to 37 x so I think at this point in time, you would have already trimmed a bit. But if you're still holding on, you're just going to see whether how high it can go. So $26 can go to $40, $50. We'll see about that. Your Afria, so far your OGI. Uh, let's take a look at some of these names. We need a buy call here from OGI here about $1.30. So it's really the same, no? We've been buying here, one thirty went to about $2.00. Buy back again. Actually, it even fell to about 108. So we were, we were buying 130 to 140. Uh, the highest at about 150. So far, it's trading at about $6 or times four. Um, here, uh, right now, all these cannabis names can still go higher, but it's extended. So be careful. Uh, for those who have cannabis names, you can profit take six to eight dollars. So organigram, let's take a look at your hexo. Of course, we've been bullish on hexo. Uh, I want to see the hexo on the new the US, no? The New York Stock Exchange. 
we've been bullish on Hexo here about $2.50. Uh, just the same, as you could see, all of our buying has been uh, subject to the legalization. We were really hoping on that legalization to be the, the perfect storm for this uh, secular trend move on your Hexo. So you've got 250, sold some at five, buy back at about three and four, and then some of us just really held on already all the way to seven, 10. So far here at 10, how high can this go? I'd say that those with Hexo, um, you can still sell some here at about 12, but you can also just wait it out whether it reaches 20 or 22. So we're just gonna hold on to that, a 10X move, $2.50 all the way to about 25. Let's take a look at that. Um, some people who don't have um, some of these cannabis names should actually just uh, take a look at some cannabis facts. Let me show you some cannabis facts. So let's say you weren't uh, buying and selling here. Uh, you were buying and just holding on to it. Where will you actually sell your Hexo Corp? Hexo is a medical marijuana company also selling Israel. First resistance is 12 and then $20. Uh, I think the greedier you are, you can just hold on to it. Anyway, we bought really low. So uh, most of our costs are just $3 below. So we're just really just holding on to our Hexo. Uh, some entered at about 4 uh, added at 450 Some even added at 650 Let's take a look at whether we get as high as 12 to 20 So we'll take a look at whether uh, Hexo can hit 12 to 20 uh, But that open space there. Uh, so with cannabis names, Delray, Hexo, Organigram, you can see that um, all of the names are actually hitting up being hit up so it's an it's an entire move it's not just one uh one stock it's an entire sectoral move your weed names are actually more in the extension area so yes canopy growth is now trading near all-time highs at 55 i'd say that even if cannabis names tonight goes further up I'd, I'd be willing to take profit so those who are uh with happy with their cannabis names we can sell some names tonight uh, take a look at some SPACs. So I told you guys to get in on some cannabis SPACs. I mentioned that $11.50 was a great entry point. Some entered even as high as 12. So far, Clever Leaves is now trading at 19. Uh, I'll be happy to sell some at 24. So take a look at your cannabis names, guys. You might actually want to take some profits off the night. Um, Clever Leaves, uh, as you speak, of course, the Weed Maps. Just wanted to share that uh, Weed Maps is now trading at 27. We were entering here at about 11 and 12. Sadly, you know, the only cannabis name that we got that didn't even double was SBTCF, which is actually the weed of Jay-Z. That is actually uh, Gram F today. Um, TPCO Holdings is actually weed play. We got them at 10, went to 13.50, hasn't risen to about $20 or so. So this one, I'm still waiting whether it goes to 20 or so. Still waiting. I think 11.50 is too low for a weed company like Gram F. Um, we have other... Uh, uh, cannabis facts. You've heard about me talk about Canopy um, Green Rose acquisition as a cannabis name. So Green Rose got in about $10.20. We got in at about uh, Green Rose Warrant as well. Remember when I said that um, cannabis facts for everything under, uh, everything about facts in under an hour. I talked about these um, these uh, facts, like uh, which companies in the $10 region were still really good. So Green Rose has already risen about twenty uh, two dollars here, about forty cents. It's now five x in your green. Usually your warrants will do better than your your stock, your stock stock. Uh, your MC Medi, the merger is also doing well. Uh, we've got MCMJ. MCMJ is now trading at about eleven. Uh, MCMJ warrants is actually trading still at about two dollars sixty five. So doing well. Um, happy to say that we've got all of these, um, all of these warrants. Uh, I personally, uh, we, we've been bullish on cannabis name. So I think like we all deserve that uh, big applause. Congrats, awesome 10x investors, free or inner circle. We've got all these cannabis names for you. Um, so let's take a look. Let's say you bought the ETF. Even your ETFs, you've been buying around October, November, here at about 12. It's now trading at $30. Sure, it can go to 36 tonight. But I think that the, the leeway for upside is kind of like more of profit-taking. So, yeah, your MJs, your YOLOs, your THCX, I say that these are actually parabolic moves to take profits from. So take a look at your positions tonight. Um, if you have some some cannabis names, I think it's no not, not a problem to take some breather. Cannabis, of course, we like some grow generation. Here, about 65, can go to 70 bucks. Try to put those uh, sell areas tonight. Uh, trim, trim, trim. 
uh, you might want to trim your hexos, your organigrams, your CGCs, your tellerys, aurora cannabis. Yep, these are all, to my, to my uh, understanding, can go higher tonight. But really, I'd say that you want to sell if they pop up another 10 to 20% tonight. I'm more on the take profit zone rather than on the buy zone. So uh, be careful on your cannabis names. Not, not really saying that it's top, but it's okay to take profits. Now, you want a winner's win. Of course, we want a 10x. Um, so let's say it can go to a, you know, you might ask yourself, well, can't tell you go 100? Of course it can. So um, some of us are just holding on for the prize, uh, that whether it goes to the, the GME stuff, right? So we got it very early. Might as well pump it up. <clears throat> All right. What else should we talk about? Hexo done, cannabis done. Yeah, so a lot of uh, weed SPACs doing well. Uh, weed SPACs we already discussed, no? All right. Um, now, you know, the big ones, the big leagues like Green Thumb, GTII in Canada. Um, I don't know how high it can really go. So more like at these levels, some of us are asking, well, will you take profits on cannabis names? I think that there's nothing wrong to take profit, but also, as we always say, just, just really hold hashtag winner swim. Why do you not want to sell all? Because you never know. What if it goes another 50% the night, just like what happened last night? So last night, this is a, actually just one day, your till raise went 50%, organigram was up 40%, in just a single week, 138%, 150% in just a single week. So Kronos, right? right? These movements are so strong that I would rather just hold on and see how high it can go. When you're already seated on it, there's really no problem if you just want to hold on for the big, big, infinite move. So I'm okay with that. All right. Um, another thing to note uh, last night, I was seeing that uh, a lot of uh, cancer therapies, cancer plays have been doing so well. So uh, I'm going to show you a few of my cancer-related picks. Let's take a look at CGIX, Cancer Genetics. So cancer genetics, CGIX, in a way, I'll be honest here, I was looking to buy it here before the gap up, but it gapped up last night. So this one seems to be good, around 4 to 5, but it already opened up like 17. Let's take a look at the news on CGIX, cancer genetics. So far, I'm seeing cancer-related plays, immunotherapy becoming a big move. This is actually an all-time high. Well, it's not an all-time high, but a 52-week high right cgix is a 52 week high abroad above like 10 like 2018 10 dollars has never been broken since 2019 2018 and then the next resistance of cancer genetics is high as 28 dollars let's try to understand what inspired this really big move 140 percent of cancer genetics last night market cap is 37 million dollars announcing a $17.5 million common stock offering. And um, this one, following a merger, Monteverde Associates investigates a following merger. Um, cancer genetics. Let's take a look at all the things happening with CGIX. It's presenting um, ongoing merger acquisition. Okay. I want to see the merger. Well, all of them are investigating about the merger. Merger, merger, merger. Strategic business update, 130% here. Uh, the merger of cancer genetics. Okay, let's read. Cancer genetics is issuing a letter to shareholders. Okay, let's read everything. Cancer genetics, February 10, is a leader in drug discovery, preclinical oncology, immuno oncology services, announcing it has entered into security purchase agreements with certain healthcare focused institutional investors, raising at $6.30 about 2.8 million shares in a registered direct offering price at the market. All right, so the, the proceeds will be for general corporate purposes for the merger with Stemonics. So, Stemonics, let's take a look at Stemonics. Stemonics is Stemonics website. It provides shorten your drug discovery pathway. It's a consistent and physiologically relevant scalable human IPC, IPSC organoid models for in vitro drug discovery and toxicology studies. Fewer drugs are making it to the market. Development costs continue to skyrocket. Stemonics provides a solution with a leading biopharma, institutionals, academics, 
our functional models can have of providing the right algorithms for actual re results to get the medication to the patients faster. Throughout these exceptional times, we are actually um, continuing to perform assays, creating disease models, identifying the world's most challenging diseases with a relevant 3D organized model. Let's solve this together. We have the microorgan technology, which is a complex human biology for complex questions. Let's bring human biology to the bench. We, we have ready to use functional micro tissues engineered from human induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSC, enabling high throughput human drug screening without the need for the drugs to enter a human body and microorgans offering a significant cost and time savings for our partner. Microbrain is consistent cultures of neurons, astrocytes, co-mature from a single donor SARS. Microheart, it is a structured human cardiomyocytes in two and a half and 3D formats. Micropancreas, human pancreatic islet cells for beta testing and functional diabetes studies. We've got analytics, as a analytics is providing a deeper dive, a faster return and more robust data. Our services is to discover a drug as a service. Partner with us, let's do a model. IPSC is retaining the genetic makeup of the donor cells, use us as off-the-shelf disease models, have us create a custom model just for your discovery needs. Discovery as a service means that you don't have the time or the staff to complete all the work that you need to be done, so we can help designing, screening, analysis, outsource your discovery of the drugs with our team of experts. We also are happy to collaborate. The same thinking was lead to us, so how we can do it better, learn more. News and advance, let's take a look at this. Stemonics. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the at what the chatter on CGIX is happening. Is it all about stemonics? Uh, let's go to the Twitter channel now. So you can see that's about $40 million. It can easily pump up because um it's it like life life save life saving drugs, right? Let's take a look first on CGIX, what's being discussed on CGIX. Cancer genetics is more than doubling after merger terms update. News. All right. So there's that $6.30. So what we know is that we've got a strong support at $6.30. At least if you're paying at about $6.70, uh, $7.60, $7 you know that there's a very strong support there. All right. So um, found this 10% 13G from the morning. It's a cancer play. You've got $6.5 million float. Um, I saw it after hours. Dug into it a bit. Three different 13Gs. Okay, filed. So 10 to 12 should be easy here. Let's add on the dips. Here are today's current top gainers. Okay, we're going to look at those other names later on. Okay, let's try to see. I'm going to put it in my um, watch lists. Watch lists here on the top gainers. <clears throat> I'm going to read that to you as well. See that. Okay. Um, yeah, so Sobra, there, there's a lot of strength uh, last night. So we're going to see. Um, so many stocks were ripping. Mm -hmm. Sick move from five. All right. Congrats to all these people who got in at $5 CGIX, um, DHTZ. Okay, I think they're all talking about the Stemonix. All right, so why don't we go to Stemonix? Want to see uh, Stemonix? ST. Stemonix. I want to go to the website or the Twitter channel of Stemonix. Accelerate the discovery of new medicines um, with physiologically relevant structured human IPSC derived cells in high density screen screening microflates. Happy New Year. Curious as to how this IPSC thing happening. Check out our monthly blog here. Okay. Happy holidays. Let's screen. Excited to announce um, screening modulators of neural network in 3D human IPSC derived cortical spheroids, news and events. Cancer genetics and stemonics are looking to pursue follow on projects for a complete end to end solution. This was reported September 5. So, meet Inos uh, Biz Journal's mini innovation. All right, let's take a look at these innovations. Join Blake. For their webinar, Drug Discovery, 3D Neutral. So discovery of uh, implementing 3D neutral spheroids in drug discovery, molecular devices and stemonics join Bascom Ventures managing partner, Greg Baker, and guest Ping Ye, the co-CEO and founder of HDG portfolio company Stemonics. Guest is Ping Ye. Hear how stemonics joined the fight against COVID-19 
bringing solutions to patient. All right, so Ping Ye. Let's take a look at how Stemonix really is working on this, um, all these, uh, stem, um, all this talk about discovery drugs. Co-founder of uh, Stemonix, who's Ping Ye, Innovations of the World. Ping Ye is the founder and CEO of uh, Stemonix. Want to see what he's done. Since 2019, the CEO said that um, June 9. Let's let's read. Like I'm 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 interested. I I I, I know nothing about these stem stemonix. So I co-founded stemonix after surviving cancer. My treatment path wasn't straightforward. I could have survived cancer, but I died from the treatment. With love and support of family, friends, and some luck, I survived. The gratitude of more life focused me to realize that I'm just one of the millions who take this risk every day. Thus, the Monix was born. My patient experience gave me extreme purpose, finding pur purpose the safe, effective medicine for all of us. Leveraging my experience in nanotechnology, high-end manufacturing, software development, from the semiconductor storage industries, I helped build a world-class team of interdisciplinary thinkers, creators, passionately finding out the way to form um, how can we discover medicines. And the, or or and the order of magnitude should be more humane, effective, and accurate. So Simonic's team has already garnered the grand prize of Minnesota Cup 2016, Slash Avenue 2017, and the most innovative new product, Medical Alley Award 2018, most disruptive company at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine. My formal and education is engineering, business management. I studied my BS and MS from UC San Diego. I have my MBA from University of Minnesota, an m &A certification from Northwestern Kellogg, and I am serving on alumni board of directors with a focus on student alumni experience. This CEO is kind of wow, you know? I'm like, Whoa, achievement. Mayo Clinic Adventures. Vinch Ventures. Wow, this is good. Um, because I uh I, I, I try to study these uh cancer stuff. I have my brother who, who's a cancer patient. So um I, I, I took a look at Mayo Clinic actually, thinking about where my brother had to uh get healed. Thankfully though, here in the Philippines, uh we want to thank Doc Huang yet again. Uh, he he helped my brother. Anyway, that's too personal. But um, okay, let's take a look at this. So so his team, he was a mentor of six new startups at Mayo Clinic. His team learned from Launchpad Central, from Steve Banks' book Startup Owners Manual. He spent four years in Seagate Technology. Okay, show two more experiences. Okay, so he's what this guy is. Contact info. USC, University of California, San Diego. Um, he founded this company seven years ago. Okay. Um, I'm interested. I won't deny. I'm interested. Actually, I was supposed to buy it last night at $5. I just like, whoa, why does this gap up? So I couldn't buy it, sadly. I was a bit late. Um... Okay, so coming back from the brink of death, sounds so dramatic. Using human-induced pluripotent stem cell technology. See, I don't even know what pluripotent stem cell technology is. So I'm going to, let's do a Google search. What is pluripotent stem cell technology even? Sometimes, like it's too new for me, induced pluripotent stem cells are a type of pluripotent stem cell generating directly from a somatic cell. So what is meant by it? The cells are have the capacity to self-renew by dividing. And, ah, so they're dividing cell layers of the early embryo, therefore into all cells of the adult body, not extra embryonic tissue such as the placenta. Okay, uh, there are master cells. They are able to make cells from all three basic body layers, stem cell 101, Boston Children uh, Hospital. Okay, um, discussion, discussion. The panel titled Organs on a Chip in AI, that was June 9, 2020, Realizing Potential Deficiencies in Drug Discovery and Development, explores how AI can be used in conjunction with IPSC, the pluripotent stem cell technology, reducing animal testing, ameliorate early drug discovery, and thwart the late-stage drug failures. Uh, they're industrializing in vitro human organized platforms, applying across many neurological, cardiac, and pan pancreatic diseases, 
treating the debilitating disorders. All right, as the pandemic has shown us, we need to identify novel repurposed drugs using scalable organoid systems such as the Stemonics microorgan platforms, delivering quality, functional medications, significant time and cost savings. All right, I get it. You're using machine learning. And you won, like he won, so many innov innovation. He won the singular university exponential medicine. And this is great. After biggest funding round yet, Stemonix is not slowing down. This is 2019. He's, uh, he survived intense chemotherapy six years ago, lymphoma. Yeah, so actually my brother also had that chemotherapy. So he now uh, founded a biotech company creating microorgans for drug testing and development. Wow. They closed a $14 million Series B funding round and Mayo Clinic. You know what, guys? This is one of the one of the best investors when it comes to cancer. Mayo Clinic and Brightstone Venture Capital invested with them. Okay, talk about what this funding means. You're serving half of the top 25 pharmaceutical companies. It's a crazy ride. Um, there are other companies providing types of services, the Monix, what makes you better? Well, we apply engineering, manufacturing, highly scalable, highly consistent. When I mean stem cells, uh, ability to mature them, uh, human instead of animal, that's a cost advantage. That is what makes us superior. So what's the growth about the business? Well, uh, in 2017, we came out from stealth mode, and I'd say that we're hitting growth about triple digit percentage. Great. So you're also an early participant in the Angel Tax Credit Program. What do you think about the governor, Tim Walz, trying to bring it back? The reason why there's an Angel Tax Credit is because venture capitalists have become more risk-averse in the last 10 years. So they've been late in investing in startups like us. So it has been the death and the valley of, uh, valley of death for startups. But now it's, um, so who is filling that gap? High net worth individuals. It spurred the investment, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so the Twin Cities, uh, largest medical companies. Okay, um, Stemonics, related content. This was the idea, business idea competition. They won that below the radar, Minnesota Biofirms uh, blooming. The grand prize goes to Stemonics. So I think like it's just normal that CGIX grew very wildly because of this merger 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 monday actually merger thursday so all right i'm okay with this so let's say you're taking some profits from your cannabis names why don't you put it on some stemonics okay 35 million dollars eight dollars 60 cents tonight 50 percent i'm okay with this um can it triple or quadruple from here possible think there's an appetite for these types of names so um gonna put a buy here eight dollars sixty all the way down to about five dollars we're gonna willing to buy it up buy all the way down how high are we willing to go as high maybe as high as 12. so 9 to 12 willing to buy it up and then um where can we actually see a reward i don't know first resistance is 32 and then another resistance you could clearly see here at about 60 dollars so yeah so that's one all right there's a lot of cancer genetic companies to understand um, results, increased discovery, services, revenue. Okay. Um, yeah. I think like you can read more about this. I'm going to like close all of these. Genetics issue letter, positioning, focus on driving forward a sustainable model. I'm okay with this. Okay. Um, so guys, Demonics, News and Events, Organ AI, I, uh, v, uh, Cancer Genetics Incorporated, Vivo Farm, they're merging. I'm okay with the merger. Okay, what else are we going to learn about? Um, this is also an interesting company in my, uh, in my view. Uh, Atlas Crest, A-C-I-C. -C. Let me discuss to you what Atlas Crest does. Atlas Crest SPAC. So this is actually a merger. Archer is going to go public through a uh, SPAC. Okay, I can read it. United Airlines, I'm going to like just uh, find a way to read this SPAC. Archer SPAC. Atlas Crest, electric uh, aircraft. Yep, it's a, it's a flying drones yet again. I love the drones. Uh, I have at least seven drones already in my portfolio. Air Taxi SPAC is soaring as United Airlines is eyeing this big Archer. Uh, Molis Backspack to merge with electric aircraft maker Archer. Uh, 
13 things to know about the Archer's Pack. Flying Taxi Company. I do believe in this, the Ubers of the world, the Flying Taxis. So I like Terrafugia, which is already owned by Geely. Uh, and then, of course, I like Joby Aviation, which has a partnership with Toyota Motors. Let's read this. Electric aircraft startup Archer goes public via SPAC. Shares are lifting off. Ta-da! Archer Aviation is going public with this SPAC called ACIC. This $3.8 billion deal is going to close the second quarter of 2021 giving $1.1 billion in gross proceeds for Atlas Crest. $600 million leading investors including United Airlines, Stellantis, the venture arm of Exor, Barron Capital, the federated Hermes Kaufman Funds, Mubadala Capital, Putnam Investments, Access Industries. Additionally, Ken Molis and Affiliates, along with Mark Lohr, investing $30 million and in, the, in the pipe. So this is going to be a valuation that people are saying could be worth $1.5 trillion by 2040. This is the electric air mobility, so flying cars, the Jetsons. We're living in the Jetsons, guys. Um, I think this, this movement made people see that Ehang was very undervalued. So EH, UABS actually went up very long time. Uh, yesterday, all-time highs yet again. I have some EH. I don't have a lot, though. I kind of feel so sad. I mean, I'm not, like, trying to brag that I have it. It's too small. I wish I... I actually wish that it fell more so that I could have bought more. Um, driven by combination of growing consumer acceptance, favorable environment, the first commercial urban air passenger routes will be operational by 2025. And the passenger UAM market, this is the secular trend, urban air mobility. Um, this urban air mobility is expected to grow to $90 billion in revenues by 2050. Air mobility is getting into a fourth phase of funding. You've got uh, perhaps ARK Invest. Some people are saying ARK Invest is going to get in. Um, then, of course, they have an agreement with Fiat Chrysler Automobiles for design experience. So let's take a look at this Archer Aviation. Let's take a look at some pictures from Archer Aviation website. And I see how beautiful these are. Archer Aviation is, of course, an eVTOL. What we call eVTOL is electric vehicle takeoff landing. Kaboom. It's like the Jetsons. The first ever commercially viable electric VTOL aircraft is happening right here. Very cool. Let's fix traffic, create a fully renewable transportation solution. Um, the master plan is to travel 60 miles at 150 mph, all with today's technology. Running towards the hard problems, designing for performance, low noise certification, and mass manufacturing, the world's best electric VTOL aircraft engineers have chosen Archer. We're building a commercially viable aircraft traveling 150 miles per hour with no single point of failure. Take a look at Tom Muniz, Jeff Bauer, Alan Chen, Ben Goldman, Damien Barden, Dedrick Marias, Giovanni. Well, yeah, come work with us. Let's take a look. Electric range equation. First order, battery cell energy, range calculation. Access the chart Archer files to keep up with test flights, key milestones, and beyond the master plan. Okay, I want to let just see the first two people uh, in this uh, in this uh, team. Who's Tom Muniz? He's building aircrafts and the teams that are making it possible. He's the VP of Engineering, Aerospace Engineer at Desktop Aeronautics. He spent 10 years at WISC. Um, and he was instrumental in the concept development of early EVTOL prototypes. Tom started his career at Desktop Aeronautics working on Arion's supersonic business jet. Do you want to see a video of this flying car? I want to see it. Um, Archer. Archer flying cars. Flying taxi. I want to see how good it is. Uh, Airlines. Uh, United Airlines just invested a billion dollars in this air taxi future. Okay, I want to see some videos. Can we see some videos? Um, by our Archer, not by them. Uh, investors, two minutes, electric flying car, 15 minutes. All right, this one. Hopefully, uh, the flying taxi market is ready to change worldwide travel. The new stuff, EV Tall, May 21, 2020. Archer is planning their debut aircraft. Let's play this. Do we have a video? Um, it's sticking primarily to intra-city transport. The founder stated Dallas, Texas, Los Angeles will be their first market for this alternative transportation method. So these are the pictures of V-22 Osprey landing at the heliport in lower Manhattan. Very cool, right? Um, data from Airbus Boom shows that Air 
urban air mobility concept with helicopters proved successful. Um, yeah. From our ranking perspective, I also like uh, Astro Aerospace. We have that um, ASD, ADS, ADSND. Yeah, and then it also went all time high last night. ADSND, Astro Aerospace, ASDND. Yeah, Astro Aerospace is also in the EV tall market. So we got in here at about two dollar fifty, all the way to about three dollar fifty. Um, rest, yes, yeah, actually not yet all time high, no. So I think that is gonna go move up. So you understand the sector. I think that this one is just on the start of a ten x move. Could go to twenty five dollars or thirty dollars for all I care. So you you already saw that cannabis already gone ten x for us. So um, I think that the next huge move is actually the EV tall market. Uh, the EV tall electric vehicle takeoff landing. So electric vehicle, TOL. It's not electric vehicle. We're going to go TOL, flying cars, like Jetsons type. That's, I think, the, the bigger move. Uh, and of course, um, from a charting perspective, you can clearly see there's a resistance at 12. So I'll, I'll be happy with a 300% move, a 500% move. Yeah, so I'm not, sometimes it's not a 10x, but I'm okay with it. Um, Wallace, Backspack, merged with electric aircraft maker Archer. The deal value set at about $3.8 million. Archer, yeah, I can't even read anymore. This is, um, okay, close. Um, ACIC, top things. All right. Um, this urban taxi, uh, flying taxi, it's going to offer 50 million shares at $10 each. You've got United Airlines and Mark Lore, which is the former CEO of Walmart e-commerce as the backer. The goal is to uh, fly this uh, 60 miles, affordable, safe, and quiet vehicles to address the travel problems. It's going to be merged uh, $3.8 billion. Um, the other aircraft that is going to be an urban air mobility player is actually Blade. Um, of course, Jobby Aviation, I said to you, is actually already talking with... Um, um, it's also in talks to become public. This is actually going to be um, a great thing. Lastly, Private Jet might merge with ASPL. Um, so very strong movements. Let's take a look further. Stellantis is also working to make the carbon fiber fuselage of the aircraft. So let's take a look at all these things. Let's take a look at the ticker symbols. Stellantis is the fuelage, STLA, doing so well. Uh, went from about $6 to $16, $16, Stellantis. So this is all about the fuel. Okay, this is one. You can take a look at this. STLA, Stella, Stellantis. You've got ASPL. Let's take a look at that. ASPL, Aspirational Consumer Lifestyle. So that is uh, NYSC. Let's take a look at the warrant as well. So far, this is good. It's still at $11, so it's still not that expensive. You can take a look at this back. AP, ASPL warrant is now $2.25. So this is also good. ASPL warrants uh, before it goes up. So it pops up on the wheels of uh, SPAC merger news. Uh, wheels up. Whose wheels up? Uh, wheels up is... Read, 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 flying taxi, all right. Flying taxi, flying to the moon and Mars. Um, ESPL says here, the deal could be valued at $2 billion. The latest valuation is $1.1 billion. It's a private jet company renting out planes for flights. Okay, so um, so ASPL is one, and then EXPC, which is Blade, also in the urban mobility. Let's take a look at this. The war is already trading at $4. So um, this one is more uh, advanced already. EXPC already trading at 16. And then let's take a look at ACIC, which is Archer. It's now trading at $14. Get in. So you've got Atlas Crest, you've got uh, ACIC, you've got ESPL, you've also got, um, what, what did I say? EXPC, experience. Okay, so like I think I told you a lot of ideas already, and it's already 45 minutes. Uh, so I don't think I can answer all of the questions, guys. So just, just a quick thing. All right, just wanted to say hi, Nikki. Hi to Rod. Catherine is signing in. Hi to Catherine. Ship TTNP at the Nikki. What's that? Ship is maritime something. What's TTNP? What's TTNP? Um, TTNP. Titan Pharmaceutical. It's also a $40 million company. Looks good. All right. What do they do? Is it a cancer genetics lala? Uh, it says the treatment of chronic diseases, pro-neura, pro-bufine, opioid addiction. Uh, yeah, looks good. Huh? I, I'm not quite sure. About, I mean, we can't study everything, but 
reverse stock split, TTNP. All right, let's take a look at the chart. Um, reverse stock split means that $4 will become $120. They're going to reverse it. That for every um, 30,000 shares, we're going to get 1,000 shares. It has risen from as low as 3 to 4. Um, $40 million company. Uh, let's just uh, quickly chart this already. Um, where's that resistance today? You've got a breakout, all right? And then uh, where's the resistance? A quick resistance is found here at about 7 and 10. 7 and 10. All right, so... Okay. And of course, here, a strong resistance here at about 18, 15. Okay, um, looks good. How about CGC? CGC looks to be topish. So I think like all the cannabis names seems to be top topish, um, but that doesn't mean that I will sell all my cannabis names. Uh, I'd like to take profits a little just so that I could buy some CGIX, some some of these flying EB pulse. Okay, so um, would you recommend buying all of these new cannabis stocks like HITIF? STMH, CBDL, and HCMC. I'm looking at doing some due diligence in all of these stickers this week. Cheers. Hi, Pia. Um, okay, I, thank you. I, I, I don't know these sticker symbols, so let me take a look at it. H-I-T-I-F. I-Tide. Hmm. So I think like there's a really interesting move on all these kind of his names. So... Um, H-I-T-I-F, H-I-T-I-F, cannabis names. Thanks for your ideas, by the way. Um, new Cannabis Ventures, <clears throat> High Tide, the rising tide of cannabis, cutting edge retail chain. Uh, it is opening their 70th nationwide store in Calgary, Alberta, that would be Canada. So they want to also continue strengthening their U.S. marketplace, Retail Focus Cannabis Corporation. Okay, that's a massive penny stock. Looks to be good. Uh, let, let's put it uh, in our watch list. All right. So thanks. Uh, is that H-I-T-I-F, Cannabis Penny. Let's put it in our watch list. Um, another penny name. Um, STMH CBDL. Actually, guys, the Sundial was uh, also a company pick that we had. Uh, it went like 5X already. Uh, STMH CBDL. Let's take a look at that. STMH, STEM Holdings. Is this also cannabis? STEM Holdings, 20% up. You're good, Pia. You're good. You have to know that. You're good. Thanks for your ideas. Well, uh, it says here it's a real estate company, but they do have properties that are selling for the cannabis industry. All right, let's take a look at this idea. It's a company in the $78 million zone, STMH. Okay, STMH Cannabis uh, Farms. Like, uh, I just need to like uh, have, a, have a quick look. Um, CBDL and HCMC, let's take a look at that. CBDL. CBL is CBD Life Sciences. Ah, okay. This one was actually told. Somebody, I think, told me about this. CBD Life Sciences was a merger, right? Somebody told me about this last night. And I didn't buy. Tama ba? CBDL. Research. Oh. No, no, no. Sorry. It was a different life science. All of these like life sciences, I'm really not aware. But um, CBD life sciences, um, let's put it in our watch list. Interesting chart. It's 10x already. Where did it start? 2,000. Oh my, like four, 500, 14,000. Amazing move. I have no idea what this is. So we're just like put, put it in our watch list and watch it. CBDL. CBDL? No idea. Penny. Okay. Um, I'm going to like read later. HCMC. HCMC. It's this again. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HCMC is a cannabis name. Penny stock. You're right. You're right. I heard about this. HCMC. Some of us got this, uh, but I didn't get in. Healthier choices, right? Yeah, well, we're going to put in this uh, watch list. A diabetic non-insulin medication, Lyra Glutide. How can I see if this is a stock out there? The brand is Victoza for type 2 diabetes. Lyra Glutide. So you're talking about Lyra Glutide. No idea what stock this is. Um, Victoza, Saxenda. Can I buy? Who owns Saxenda? It was discovered, developed by Novo Nordisk. All right, so you want to ask the company, right? So it's Novo Nordisk. 
Um, I have no idea about this company, all right? It's a pharmaceutical company. This is a stock symbol. It's in uh, Denmark. Novo B. Want to check it out? Driving the change to, to fight diabetes. Novo B. Um, it's in Denmark. Uh, so far, it is at all-time highs. Looks like you have a great company. A market cap of 800 billion Denmark. So all-time highs. Production in eight countries, five countries worldwide. So Novo Nordisk. It's very big. You can see that it's already making 122 billion. So it's like a Dexcom, perhaps, of Denmark. Could you consider APDN? APDN. I have no idea again what this is. Thanks for your ideas. Applied DNA Sciences, Biotech. $90 million company. All right. Um, it is engaging the uh, molecular based. All right. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Like, I'll put a study on it. APDN, Biotech. So many ideas, right? Um, okay. Um, more tickers for me soon. Yeah. Thank you very much. Like, it's already an hour. Um, ship, I think, is maritime. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not too sure about ship. I, I'm more in. I'd rather like study cannabis and biotech. Like, uh, uh, I don't want to study these energy related names. Like, maybe some people think that this is a value, but uh, I'm not interested in shipping companies like dry bulk. Even if it goes up, I, I mean, I, I think I'll pass. So my play is cannabis pennies, sure. Um, biotech, sure. Uh, some life-saving stem cells, whatever you have an idea of, you can just give it and pass it to me. Some DNA sequencing blush it, I'm okay with that. Uh, long read sequencing, I'm okay with that. Um, some SPACs on the flying EV tolls, I'm also okay with that. All right, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I want to like, give a heads up. Tomorrow is a Chinese New Year. I'm not going to be here. And also on Monday, I'm going to have a Valentine's break. So Monday and Friday, I'm, a, I'm not here. I'm not going to be able to stream. Please don't miss me too much. I'll be there on Tuesday. So there's no free Friday class tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you again. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.